Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I want to show you a really cool technique I came across a few days ago that allows you to project any HDRI onto a ground. Let me show you. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to GitHub and download the Lily Surface Scrapper add-on. This is free and you can just download it from this site. I leave the link to it in the video description. And just go to code, download zip and save the zip file on your computer. Then you can go into Blender, edit, open the preferences, go to the add-ons tab and click on install to install the add-on. Search for your zip file, select it and click on install add-on. I've already done this so um, I'm just going to search for the Lily Surface Scrapper add-on. Here I have it and then you need to check this little checkbox next to the name in order to enable it so we can use it. Now it is also important that you go to those uh, add-on settings and enable use ground HDRI since that's a feature that we're going to use in this tutorial. Once you have that we are ready to go so we can close the preferences delete everything in here. Let me also close the timeline and the side panel and enable the screencast keys. So in the bottom left corner, you can now see all the shortcuts that I press. All right, then it's time to import an HDRI. Let's go to the world panel. And here we now have the Lily Surface Scrapper add-on that we can use to import an HDRI. But as you can see, we first need to save our file in order to be able to use the add-on. So press Ctrl S, give it a name, tutorial and save it anywhere on your computer. Now let's just close this up and open it again to refresh. And uh, Lily Surface Scrapper is a really cool add-on to import textures and uh, in this case also HDRIs from the internet really quickly. So I want to download an HDRI from hdrihaven.com. So I just click on HDRI Haven and it opens the website for us. You probably also already know this website. Here you can get a lot of high quality 360 degree HDRIs for free. So for this, I'm gonna go with this white street and all we have to do to import this with the Lily Surface Scrapper add-on is copy this URL, go back into Blender and click on import from clipboard. Now we can choose the resolution. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to go with 4K, but of course you can also go higher to 8K or 60K and you will get a, a higher resolution result in the end. So let's click OK. And now it already downloaded and imported the HDRI that we selected. And in order to see it, I'm going to switch to the viewport shading menu and enable scene world. So we can see it in the background. And as you can see, this doesn't look like a regular HDRI because it made this ground projection. And it actually looks as if the ground of this HDRI was in the ground of the world. And this happened because in the H, uh, in the Lily Surface Scrapper setting, we enabled use ground HDRI. And it did this in the world node settings. So let's go to the shader editor, switch this to the world node. And here you can see the node setup that it created. And uh, responsible for this ground projection is this node group. We can tap into it and you can see that this is really complex. Uh, but you can see the difference if I disable this node group. This is what the HDRI usually would look like. And if we enable the ground projection, it really looks as if this HDRI had a ground. All right, so let's bring in a 3D object. I'm going to add a car from the traffic add-on. This is a paid add-on. But I think it's a really great car, car library. You can get all of those high quality models, uh, bicycles, motorcycles, and a lot of other vehicles. I leave a link to it in the description, but you 
you really don't need this add-on for this tutorial. You could do this with any other 3D object and it would work just as, just as fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with this one, click on OK and import it. And now you can see that it really looks as if this car was placed on the street. And if we compare this with, uh, with what a normal HDRI looks like, here it doesn't look at all as if the car was on the street. But once we use this ground projection, um, this looks really realistic. I want to have this side in the background, so I rotate the car. And we also need to scale it up. A bit more. Yeah, I think that's better. better. Then let's also bring in the camera, shift A, choose the camera. And I use the shortcut control alt zero to place the camera on the view. Bring it down a bit, R, X, X to rotate it along the local X axis so I can move it up and down. Then I want to press G and the middle mouse button to move back a bit. And then go to the camera settings and increase the focal length. Maybe bring the camera up a bit. And rotate it down. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I want to render this in cycles. So make sure that your render engine is set to cycles. And let's also enable adaptive sampling and switch to the render preview. Now the really cool thing about this method is that we have a realistic background, a realistic ground, and also get the correct reflections in the car itself. As you can see on the side here in the windshield and in the windows. But what is missing are the realistic shadows. So let's add a plane, shift A, mesh plane, scale this up. And now, as you can see, we have the shadows on the plane, but we don't want the plane to be visible. So let's go to the object properties and under visibility, enable the shadow catcher. So now we can only see the shadow of the plane, but not the plane itself. The only problem left is that the that the plane is visible in the, uh, what's it called, in the reflections of the car. So in order to get rid of this, we also need to disable the ray visibility for the glossy channel. And now this looks perfect. So I think this is pretty good. So we are ready to render. Let's go to the render settings. Um, I'm going to render this with, let's say 500 samples. So let's go to the rendering tab and press F12 to start the render. And so here is our final result. I think it came out really good and I'm pretty happy with it. But as you can see, the background the HDRI is really pixelated. This is because I only use the 4K version. If you would use the 8k or 16k version this would look much better so you can do this if you are using this technique for any of your projects otherwise i think this is extremely cool and i'm a big fan of this technique and uh I, yeah i highly recommend you to check out the lily surface scrapper add-on and as i already mentioned the link to it is in the video description that's it for this video thank you for watching until the end if you like the videos i produce Please consider supporting Blender Daily and Patreon and enable me to further create content like this. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.